What's going on, hikers? In today's video, I have with me ah, my backpack. This sucker is loaded full, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a few pieces of gear that I'm taking with me out on the trail in order to help me have a better time. Because our mission here on this YouTube channel is to help increase your quality of life while you're out on trail. So let me get a few things out of here, and we'll get started with today's list. Now what I'm looking at right now on my phone is a weather report for what the conditions are gonna be like while I'm out on trail, and it appears that Friday, a high of 37, and then a low of 30. Saturday, a high of 38, and a low of 21. And then Sunday, I'm gonna be walking out. It looks like it's gonna warm up and be 56 degrees. I'll tell you what I'm taking with me. This is something that I use all the time around town. It is a scarf. Not only is it stylish, but it's also gonna help me keep warm out there. Now, I do have an alternative for you if you're not into the whole scarf life. That's totally cool. A lot of people like to take a buff with them. Let's see, I think I got one on the outside of my backpack here, tucked into my beanie. A buff is just a neck gaiter, and this will do the trick too. It's a lot lighter, but it's gonna be pretty cold out there, and I get cold fairly easily, so I'm gonna take both, and I'm okay with carrying the extra weight, as you can see from the list today. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second piece of gear on today's list. Piece of gear number two is inside of this bag. Now this is actually the Z-Pax Duplex L. I'm gonna be tent camping on this trip, but inside of this tent bag, I have this little stuff sack. And if I open it up, you can see I have some tent stakes. Now, you're like, okay, of course you have tent stakes, but I can't tell you the amount of extra times that I have needed an extra stake. Or if I don't need it, somebody else always just seems always seems to be with me and uh, they're missing one. Now, if you don't wanna take an extra tent stake, which is piece of gear number two on today's list, then I would suggest um, you get out there and you lose one and you can't find it. You can always like, cut you a little branch or find a stick laying on the ground and you could stab that into the ground and that will make the perfect tent stake. Now all these pieces of gear that I'm talking about today, I am gonna link in the description below. These are some ultralight tent stakes. Um, I actually like to take these usually instead of the tent stakes that come with the tent. These are MSR mini groundhog tent stakes. So if you do wanna check those out, in the description you just click that little down arrow and that will open up the description on your phone and then you can click any piece of gear that you're interested in checking out. Piece of gear number three on today's list. You probably have one laying around your kitchen. I just bought this one for like 99 cent at Walmart. It is a plastic plate. It doesn't have to be a camping plate. You can just go to the kitchen section of whatever your superstore is, your big box store in your town, and pick you one up. Now, if you want an alternative because you don't want to carry this, because it is a little bit bulky, you know, it doesn't really fold up or anything like that, then you can just take a paper plate with you and then whenever you come back, just throw it in the trash. It's ultra light. You can even take a couple of them and your friends will thank you, especially if you're headed out on a trip like I'm going on. Now my trip, I'm staying out for the whole weekend, but on Saturday, I plan on sleeping in, making a morning fire, and then cooking some great breakfast. And whenever I do that, I wanna have something convenient to eat all my food in. Now I could eat it in the little skillet that I'm frying my eggs in and heating up my biscuits, but, uh, I'm telling you, you will be absolutely surprised at how much you will fall in love with having a plate with you. Our fourth piece of gear in today's video, <laughs> it's a little bit funny because I think that if you don't have this piece of gear, then your legs and your undercarriage area of your body, if you will, may be screaming at you angry. And that is a good pair of underwear. And whenever I'm headed out onto trail, I always am wearing a pair of underwear as well as I bring at least one extra pair with me, sometimes even two, especially if I know it's gonna be hot out there. Now on this trip, I'm only gonna take one extra pair, but uh, what that does is give you the ability to wash a pair if you're gonna be out there for more than a few days, and then you can let those dry while you're at camp, or you can strap them to the back of your backpack and let the sun help dry them. Now, this is today's video sponsor. It is Sheath Underwear. And I wanna tell you a little bit about this specific pair, which is my favorite that I have by Sheath. And this pair is an eight inch inseam. It's their performance boxer brief. And the thing that I really love about them is that they're long enough 
for me that they don't ride up on my legs. The absolute last thing that I want is to be pulling down the uh, ends of my underwear down my leg while I'm walking down on trail. I can't tell you how annoying that is. So that doesn't happen with the eight inch pair and that's why I absolutely love them. Uh, they also have this pouch on the inside. This is the first pair of underwear that I've had that has this dual pouch. This is gonna help keep you a lot cooler. It's very soft, gentle on the skin. And then it has a hole here. It's like a dual pouch. And uh, what can I say? It's comfortable. So if you wanna check out some of She's products, uh, they have a whole line of underwear because you're gonna have to pick out whatever's gonna work best for you. Like I said, I like the eight inch, but I will link in the description to their website. And if you do want to order some, I hope you save some money. Use code Jeremiah for 20% off of your order. And let me know what you think. Our fifth piece of gear, what is this big ball of mess? Well, let me unfold it and show you. It is a simple sheet of Tyvek. And what I like to do is take this no matter if I'm hammock camping or if I'm tent camping. And what it does is a few different things. One is it's gonna give me a clean, dry place to put all of my stuff as I'm unpacking my backpack. This is gonna be the first thing out of my pack and I'm gonna pull it out, I'm gonna put it on the ground and sit my backpack on top of it and then I'm gonna utilize it as that clean space while I'm unpacking. Uh, with a tent, a lot of people use this as the ground sheet under their tent, but what I like to do is use a ground sheet and then I'll take this and I will put it in front of my tent and that is kind of your doormat. And that is a clean, dry place for you to crawl in and out of your tent, to kind of put your shoes on and that kind of thing. So this, absolute lifesaver out there. The seventh piece of gear on today's video, this can be quite divisive. So hear me out, listen to the whole thing but before you start going to work in the comments, please. But it is a pair of wireless headphones. Now the ones that I'm using, as you can see, are the basic AirPods, I mean the cheapest that you can go, headphones. And I'm not gonna go into why I love these except for like a couple of things, but I made a video about this topic. You could check it out here where I bought the AirPod Pros and I talked about those and, and using those on trail and that kind of thing. I know that some people are out there and they don't want to listen to audiobooks and podcasts and music and all that. They just want serene nature and the sounds of the backcountry around them. And that's absolutely great. For me, I like to bring some technology whenever I head out into the woods. So these get absolute game changer, okay? Now when I done my through hike of the Vermont Long Trail, I was out there for about a month and I used headphones a lot. I would get up in the morning and the first half of the day, I like to just listen to nature, listen to the world wake up. And then the second half of the day, a little bit of a grind, so I'd listen to music and that kind of stuff. So I found that the cords coming off the headphones, some people told me, you know, tuck those into your shirt. That's a little hack for you so that you can keep those out of the way. Your trekking poles aren't hitting them, anything like that. And that's absolutely great, except for I found that my sternum strap that snaps here across my chest, it kept pulling the cord down and it would pull the headphones down and sometimes all the way out of my ears. It just wasn't very comfortable. So a game changer for me is having a pair of wireless headphones. So if you're somebody that likes to enjoy that kind of stuff whenever you're out in the woods, I would highly urge you to bring whatever pair of wireless headphones that you have, even if you do have to recharge them. That's okay. I bring a battery bank with me to recharge my cell phone and camera batteries and all that kind of stuff. Now I want you to comment below and tell me what other pieces of gear should I add to this list. If you've enjoyed the video, give me one of these, subscribe to the channel, and kick the notification bell for the latest notifications. We'll see you in the next one.